So uh, the other thing is that people are saying that the character's ugly. And here's one of our favorite people that talks oh. about it briefly. We're going to give her a couple of minutes to explain to you uh, why this character is ugly. So get ready, everyone, for some Melanie Mac. Are apparently allergic to beautiful women because they <laughs> continue to make them uglier and uglier in their games. And in this case, with the Star Wars Outlaws game, female protagonist, nothing wrong with that. I love me a good female protagonist. What? She sounded kind of woke right now. Melanie Mac doesn't have an issue with the female protagonist? <laughs> what the fuck is happening, everyone? <laughs> Holy shit. Holy shit. That's two things. So we had Yellow Flash admit today that he agrees with Alan Richson that there should be police reform. And Melanie Mac just said she's okay with a female protagonist. The world is turning in the opposite direction right now. I feel like something is happening. Is there? Do I feel a, a, a shift in the vibration of the of reality here? I don't know in a video game or movie or anime or what have you but in the oh she even went further to say in anything so she's like <laughs> female protagonist so we'll never see another video from melanie mack getting upset that there's a woman as a lead character well we will never see that again after this. yeah because you could just clip it and like just True. link the chat like link it in her comments like yeah <laughs> <laughs> all right there you go game, of course they had to make her uglier than her actual model and just all around make her more androgynous looking which i've made a bunch of videos about this and this so it's really funny so okay. melanie mack is a self-proclaimed tomboy that is what she's called herself many times now i know the term tomboy is controversial some people say that it should be retired other people are like no it's still valid um i don't really know I, i'm not so deep in that discourse to totally understand the nuance of the, the term um but i will say that she's called herself a tomboy which by the way is a break of a gender role tomboy is yeah a, 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 a derivative of like a woman being more masculine and and doing things that that men are more perceived to do in the gender binary or whatever so she basically has said that she is non she's basically a non-gender conforming woman because she's a tomboy yeah, yeah she and said that's that, a lot that's of androgynous women were called tomboys as well yeah there used yeah. to be an era okay so tell me this i maybe i don't get it because you know being gay maybe it doesn't work for me but um was there was there a time period where like the more rough around the edges tomboyish women were considered like the ideal like the the sexiest of of women at one point i feel like there was an era in movies and tv shows where that was like a big thing yeah. for, for oh like yeah the, i so yeah there was definitely the 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 trope of like the the woman friend who is kind of more the tomboy type who actually ends up being the main romantic interest that was a thing for a bit yeah, yeah. that's what i was getting at yeah mm -hmm. i feel like that happened so anyway here we go especially the trans gays agenda, oh, comics, which I right? believe now they want to push back. And oh no. Oh no. She went into the, like she slid that in. Did you hear that? Here we go. Especially the trans gays agenda, which I believe the trans gays, like she's just combining two things, trans gays. Like, I don't even know, like, what does that even mean? Trans gays agenda. <laughs> well, this is she saying gays as in multiple gay people or gays as in looking at something. Or know. just gay trans people. So explain to me what the so so I guess she's insinuating that making women not look like Eve and Stellar Blade like, is because of trans gay agenda. Is what she's saying? I think. Yeah. Oh look, she's saying I'm gays. Sure if I bash like the male gays. We're we're, we're <laughs> back saying gays, male gays. All right. I'm sure if I bash my head against the wall long enough, I'll understand where she's coming oh, from. Oh, Ox, look, if you've ever watched my videos on her, I pretty much said she's one of the dumbest people that makes content on social media. She's either extremely dumb or very like, super intelligent and knows how dumb she sounds and she's using that as a, as a gimmick. It's one or the other, but I think it's probably just she's dumb. Now they want to push back and act like... Oh, the male gaze is so bad. Oh, this, that, and the other. Well, they are appeasing the trans gaze by trying to blur the lines between male and female. We're seeing this with female characters across the board, and I even made... You know, they, all they do when they, they talk about the uglifying of uh, women characters in these video games yes. is they just find a, a poorly timed screen cap. That's it. Oh. I don't even understand what she's saying. So she's saying that now that they're... 
Oh God, I, I'm not stupid enough for this. <laughs> so she's talking about the male gaze. We've already discussed that early in the video about how that was a 1973 statement and it's been updated over the years or whatever. So now she's saying that there's a trans gaze. Apparently. And apparently trans only like trans, apparently. Trans looking and like what, what she defines as trans looking. What she what she is, assumes as trans looking people is what trans people and, must like. And that's trans it. Trans right? people like ugly women. I don't know. I, what, I know just want to. I don't understand the point. Is like the, 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 the like mental gymnastics you have to do to get to these points. I mean, I feel like holy shit. Okay, we're look. I can assure you, we're not watching this twelve minute video. Usually, Melanie Matt gets to whatever her point is within like three minutes of her video, so we're not going to have to watch the whole thing. Oh, made a video talking about how they're feminizing male characters as well, though just not as apparent as what they're doing with female characters. So, before I really dive into this article and stuff, oh, there we go, the one screen that, cap. That, that screen cap looks fine. I yeah, but look what website she's looking at. It's a uh, bounding oh, in yeah. the comments, yeah. of course. So, I want to share. I actually made an attempt to try to fix her. I I mean, the one on the left actually looks better than the one that she tried to fix, which is the, she put long hair on her, I guess. That, that yeah, was I don't understand. Like, So she put long hair on her and some makeup fine. on her face? Yeah. I think she changed, changed, tried to change her body shape as well. A little it doesn't bit. look like very much, though. I she mean, tried, yeah. It, it means the one on the left is still pushing it with the long hair. Uh, Melanie Mack would know this. Lots of times, especially if you're going to be jumping around, you're going to have to tie your hair back. So you just lean towards shorter hair. Not you only know? that, I this is probably like, I don't know, it's giving them a little credit or whatever. But um, long hair is very hard to do in action games because it clips through everything. So a lot mm -hmm. of times they make the hair shorter so the, the jacket and the hair don't collide with each other. So mm -hmm. maybe it was them going for a more cheaper angle or it could be what you were saying um you know bob that she that, that they're trying to go for a more realistic take on it and they decided Plus, to sorry it's star wars okay so they're gonna have an edit where you can like have multiple hairstyles and outfits yeah so like you know what i mean <laughs> they'll probably have like costumes customizations by the way one of the other criticisms of this game is that it does have a cash shop and that there is like buy-in dlc and stuff like that that's you know the legit criticism that it is here, this game it is it absolutely bad. Yeah. so yeah. like 130 dollar gold edition i think is the the highest when you get like 130 yeah. us which means it's probably like 160 dollars uh where you are darth bunny maybe more um yeah that's horrendous yeah so that's the edition where you get everything including the job of the hut mission which everybody talks about is probably the best part of the game uh but that's Ew. hidden behind like the most expensive version of the okay game. now i i saw a, i saw something about this uh but but like so there's only some missions. Like so his his thing is still in the game, but there's some missions of his that are behind a paywall. But like him being in the game is still a thing. No matter what. Yeah. So that's so okay. uh let's see what, what else she's gonna complain about here. It was going for more tweaks than a complete transformation. Now if I could have changed the outfits in the Were you trying to trans her? Oh my god, Melanie yeah. Mack was trying to trans this character. <laughs> She just admitted it. She just fucking admitted it, you guys. Melanie Mack is a transer. Just be ready for it. I was She's using the trans gaze. Well because I think <laughs> the trans gaze to transform, yeah. I think that is one of the uh, also egregious things that they've done with this character design was her outfit. First of all, that mm. this color of blue, it just doesn't match her color palette in general. She's a very warm color palette, so this cool blue doesn't work. Maybe so, her character that isn't in tune to that. Maybe maybe, maybe being like a, a Han Solo kind of character, she doesn't really give yeah. a fuck about her yeah. jacket matching her complexion. And it just doesn't work for you. I think she looks great. Yeah, I don't I see like an issue with this outfit yeah. at all. Yeah. yeah, I mean, keep in mind, Melanie Mack's color palette is white, black, and beige. So, I mean, like, what does she know about fucking colors anymore? She doesn't wear bright colors. She's she turned into a Christian and automatically forgot how to wear color. Artistic standpoint that that was a decision made here, but obviously we have the very boyish looking 
body type her waist is just very straight hips very straight i mean there's some supermodels who still can make um, that work but this is not the case. i could make that complaint about melanie Mack. yeah exactly we talked like about the that. cognitive dissonance what with her hell? she's <laughs> she's complained about the way a woman like i showed you that thumbnail i don't remember what video it was but the picture on the thumbnail that she was complaining about was the exact same outfit that she was wearing in her <laughs> thing where she was complaining about it. I'm like so what are you doing um oh. And Melanie Mack has said there's nothing wrong with with women who have a more boyish look because she's called herself a tomboy. So I don't there's truly a, understand what the argument here is. There's all types of different female sh body shapes, and there's all mm -hmm. and many of them are attractive. Um, everybody has different types too. Yeah. Mm -hmm case here of what they're going for and again with when it comes to video game characters as i've said over and over we like our video game characters to be idealistic this goes no no we don't you like your characters to be idealistic yeah. yeah exactly we talked about this earlier with stellar blade i don't have an issue with what you prefer but what you prefer does not have to be injected into everything because then you are doing exactly what you're accusing dei of doing yeah, I mean, Stellar Blade is obviously going for a style. Um, Star Wars would not go for a Stellar Blade style because Star Wars is already established universe, and you know why would it veer away from that? Does that mean she would have had Gimli rocking around as a thirst trap? I think they should. Like, what the hell does that mean? <laughs> yes. Probably. Yeah. Well, yeah, you'll bet. Uh, all right, let's see. She, I think she's going to get to her point. Like male that. and female characters alike, not just female. And in this case, um, yeah, looks like her nose is broken, her <laughs> nostrils extremely flared out. I tried to fix that. I'm what? Yeah. What's wrong how with that? Just, how dare she doesn't have the the the? I, I don't even know if I want to say like imperfect nose because noses are just different on different. But people. what a weird There's thing to complain about. Yeah, the nostrils are flared out. Like what? Yeah. What a weird it, complaint. It's not like okay. even massively. It's just like a little bit it, like normal. It's just a yeah. nose. You know? It's yeah. a normal nose. <laughs> like, yes. I made her nose God. bridge a little longer. I couldn't quite straighten the broken nose, but uh, I did my best. I just wanted to make her look well, more interesting. I can't like, even tell if her just... nose is broken, but also maybe that's supposed to be part of her backstory if it is. Thank you. Like, Thank you. I was just about to say that. Yeah. What if it's relevant and you're sitting there trying to fix it in an edit? Yeah. 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 It's all work. Uh, I, you know, look at Rain from Blood Rain, for example, and many, many others. Um, Joanna Dark. Also, she has a very short pixie cut, but she still is very feminine, very beautiful. So, in this. Maybe that's not the vibe. Yeah. Maybe that's not what they're going for. I don't, mm -hmm. I don't think, like, do you want to develop this game? Is is this your game, Melanie? Are you on are you on the team creating this game or are you somebody buying the game and deciding whether you want to buy it or not buy it? Which one is it? It Thank can't you. be I, both. I have, to, I have to say, are you buying games based on how attractive you find the female characters? I I don't know if that's the best metric to buy a game by. <laughs> Ox says, I love how these two examples she gives look like strippers. <laughs> Han Solo strippers. Uh, that would be a great movie, actually. <laughs> case it's just the all of the components put mm. together that really make this not so good so um what i did here i made her hair longer i just thought it would look better in this situation uh because this is just not not only is it shorter hair but it's not even a feminine cut and it's why does it have to be a whoa she's a smuggler in the world of Actually, star wars that is a super feminine cut by what's the way. masculine um, about that haircut? yeah yeah there's nothing masculine about that but haircut. but even so it doesn't necessarily have to be long feminine hair either like i don't i don't understand no. her argument no it's not practical for her to have uh, longer yeah. hair frankly <laughs> It's not doing her any favors. So I tried to fix it. I also wanted to fix the color, her coloring a little bit because this is just very muddy looking. Um, that that hair, the, the muddy looking hair color is with all of the brown eye, that color of brown eyes, the skin, everything. It's there. The skin. Oh, that's an interesting yeah. comment. Ooh, so now the brown skin, eyes, really. the flared nostrils, the dark hair, the skin. Hmm. Has she changed the eye color as well? Hmm. My, it does look like she changed the eye color. Yes. And and it looks hmm. like her complexion. I'm not gonna lie. It never occurred to me what she was making her look a bit more like until we got this. Has part. she has yeah. she changed her cheek complexion? Yes. Yeah. She has. The cheeks are uh, more pale and pink now. 
Oh mm-hmm. my god. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. So she didn't oh like the, my the, god. The, the yeah, like yeah, look uh what he said here um Bob. Yeah. She looks like mud according to Melanie Matt. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Oh no. She too dark now. Yeah. Oh. oh, and now it's coming. Now we're starting to see where this is going. Yeah. yeah no, 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 no. no. This is a good point, Ben. I do see that. She does look like Halle Berry yeah. on the left. Now that you said that, oh my God. Yeah. I can Famously, totally see that. It, it, looks like, Halle it looks like 90s Halle Berry to me, is yeah. what it's giving yeah. you. Yeah. 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 Wow. Yeah. yeah. I could easily right. say uh, Halle Berry. It's nothing when it, now when it comes it. to character design, you want something to pop. And so in this case, I thought, okay, let's add some more red to her hair. Let's give her green eyes. Um, you know, I gave her a little makeup. Let's make her white. Let's do. Let's yes. do that. Let's make her mo- look more like a white person. That's what. That's what we're doing here. Yeah. Not yeah, interesting. Even failed at this point. <laughs> yeah. Freckles more pronounced, and I wanted her to be more eye catching as a main character should be i also made- wait 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 wait. did she did her mouth purse like a w there for a second hold on when she says eye catching watch her mouth here is a main character should be and i <laughs> wanted her to be more eye catching as a main character should be i also made her mm. waist cinched in a little more uh, made her <laughs> hips a little wider i wanted the especially with the outfit with it's really tough to do with this outfit but you know she doesn't have to look it's like not really it's tough almost, to do if you have you, know you can say i was just gonna say it's almost like it's not really an outfit made to really accentuate her curves no <laughs> but the other thing is it's actually really easy almost any photo program you can go in and change the color of that jacket doesn't take much True. to do that. Yeah, actually, yeah, I mean, that'd, that'd be easy. I could pull up one on my phone now and change the color of the jacket to almost anything that I want. You can change the color of the hair to anything you want. I don't, I don't know what program she's using. I'm assuming she's using like Adobe or something. But anyway, like a bimbo. She doesn't have to look like a corn star, as people try to imply that those of us who want female characters to look beautiful, uh, they always act like, oh, you watch too much corn, you have coomer brain. I do not watch corn. I am against it. I think that it rots people's brains. But. <laughs> Well, I mean, no. your brain is rotted. So maybe I would been... have to say, if maybe these people watch corn more often, they won't be so dependent on these be- beautiful standards of freaking fancy video games. <laughs> I'm going to yeah. think she's got a subscription yeah. to every service. If it causes brain rot, she must be watching every single one of them. She must have a lot of people she's paying for on OF. <laughs> That's the only thing I can imagine. <laughs> Yeah, so that's the thing. Is head ninja? Did she mean to say white and switched up to main character? Yeah, I actually think that's what she. At least that's what it looked like to me. But that could be me just talking shit. You know how I am. Um. All right. Let's see. But I do think that characters should look appealing uh, from an artistic standpoint. Also, Ooh. because if I'm going to be playing a video game, I have I, I don't play video games with ugly characters. I just don't. There might be some extremely rare exceptions, but as a whole, I just don't like. I don't like ugly art styles. Same with anime. There are some great anime that people adore. Keep in mind, she still champions like the OG Tomb Raider. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah. she talks about that I as mean, being like super aesthetically sexy by 2024 standards. Nothing is sexier than a uniboob that's like sharp at yeah. an angle. Oh, yeah. I think it's nostalgic. It's funny. But I, I don't think you should be comparing it to modern like games. <laughs> That I just don't watch because I think the art style is ugly. And mm. I don't, I just don't like ugly art styles. So in this case, yeah. I made an attempt. Well, then I suggest you go back to the people that did your tattoos and get a refund. That's what oh. I suggest. Oh. I think that there's a lot more that could be done to improve this situation, but I did make an attempt. Um, I also shortened her chin a bit because that oh. is excessive. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, so the, ch- the ch- yeah. Excessive? <laughs> Jesus Christ. What's going How dare on? she have human I think it's the combination. <laughs> yeah. Combination <laughs> of things that make it worse because she does have the strong cheek- cheekbones, even mm. stronger jaw that sticks out farther than her cheekbones and mm. a long chin. It's like if you want to give her some of these strong features, pick one or two, but to go with three strong big nose, strong big cheekbones, strong big jaw, she doesn't strong have long a chin. I think it's a lot. Oh now- <laughs> wow. Yeah. God damn. Holy shit. Holy shit. I'm someone with strong cheekbones and even a... I know, exactly. Kind of a strong jaw as well, not as much. But it's like, dude, I'm really... Strong jaw. I don't don't see... Like, there's a lot of weird statements about this. (laughs) 
about this picture where I'm like, what are we talking about here? It's a, it's a character in a video game. Like, is it really this serious? Is it really this serious? Holy shit. <laughs> Did she get picked yet? Actually, she's been picked and dismissed. I've noticed that she hasn't really shown up on a lot of those other streams recently. So I think she's, I, I will say this, the constant usage of the F slur, I think has been a step too far for some of the content creators. They've sort of moved away from her because she just keeps doing it. And, um, you know, so she's got a few people she still streams with, but not as much anymore. She used to stream with as quite often as of recent that stopped too. So I don't know. I'm grateful that I don't have the really strong chin to go with it. Cause <laughs> that definitely would be, it, it, it does give a more masculine appearance again. And also what does my appearance even have to do with any of this? This is something else that every time I get pushed back about what I think about video game characters and how I think video game characters should be prettier and all that people want to push back and be like, well, oh, especially when I talk about Lara Croft. Cause I'm like, Hey, classic Lara needs to like classic Lara. And the pushback is, well, you're not as curvy as classic Lara. You look more like reboot Lara. And it's like, okay. <laughs> so I'm sorry. That's really funny to me that she's so mad that someone was trying to say she looked like a more masculine Laura Croft. And that's just nah. something about that's funny to me. Anyway, I don't think we need to listen to more of this. It's pretty obvious what she's trying to do with this character. Um, and she's trying to whiteify it. 